everyone i am dr deepika malik today we will be discussing our stage 4 of downstream processing that is finishing or drying drying is an essential step in downstream processing particularly in the final stages of product purification and formulation it involves the removal of moisture or solvent from a substance resulting in a solid or dry product The specific drying methods and conditions employed depend on the nature of the product, the desired characteristics and the industry's requirement. Drying is undertaken because the cost of transport can be reduced, the material is easier to handle and package, the material can be stored more conveniently in the dry state. Drying can be carried out by any of the following methods that is drum drying, spray drying, fluidized bed dryers, freeze drying or lyophilization. Now before discussing the types of drying methods let's understand the role of drying first stabilization many products particularly pharmaceuticals food ingredients and certain chemicals are susceptible to degradation in the presence of moisture drying helps stabilize these products by removing moisture leading to products extended shelf life preservation drying is often used as a preservation technique to inhibit the growth of microorganisms By removing moisture the environment becomes less favorable for the microbial growth reducing the risk of spoilage contamination and the potential for health hazard This is particularly important for food processing and the production of pharmaceuticals and other sterile products Concentration Drying facilitates concentration by removing the solvent or water present in a solution or mixture This concentration step is crucial for obtaining a more potent or concentrated product such as concentrated liquid extracts, powdered formulations or liquid active ingredients. Concentrated products offer benefit in terms of storage, transportation and dosage flexibility. Product formulation. Drying is often utilized to convert liquid or semi-solid substances into solid forms such as powders, granules or flakes. This transformation enables easier handling, packaging and dosage administration. Purity enhancement. Drying can contribute to the purification of products by eliminating impurities that are more volatile or water soluble than the desired product. During drying volatile impurities or residual solvents can evaporate leaving behind a purer product with lower levels of contaminants This is particularly relevant in the pharmaceutical and chemical industries where strict purity requirements must be met Size reduction In some cases dyeing process can reduce size reduction where larger particles or aggregates break down into smaller particles or crystals This can enhance the product's physical characteristics such as surface area, dissolution rate or recreativity. Size reduction through drying is commonly employed in industries such as pharmaceuticals where improved bioavailability and drug delivery are desired. Now coming to the different method, let's discuss drum dryers. Drum dryers are a type of industrial drying equipment used for efficient and continuous drying of bulk materials, slurries or solutions. In drum drying the heated surface is the envelope of a rotating horizontal metal cylinder coming to its working the cylinder is heated by steam condensing inside the wet material is applied on the drum surface as a relatively thin layer the dried product is removed from the drum with the help of a blade the drum and its accessories are enclosed in a vacuum chamber Here the important thing to note is that the drums are in a continuous rotating motion. Next method is spray dryer. The different stages of the mechanism of the spray drying processes are atomization where a solution is pumped to an atomizer breaking up the liquid feed into a spray of fine droplets as you can see in the diagram. Second step is droplet to particle conversion. Then the droplets are ejected into a drying gas chamber where the moisture vaporization occurs resulting in the formation of dry particles. Third is the particle collection where finally the dried particles are collected from the base. 
Fluidized bed dryers, also called fluid bed dryer, is a kind of equipment used extensively in the pharmaceutical industries to reduce the moisture content of pharmaceutical powders and granules. The equipment works on principle of fluidization of feed materials. In this process, hot air is introduced at high pressure through a perforated bed of moist solid particulate, as you can see in the diagram. The wet solids are lifted from the bottom and suspended in a stream of air that is now they are in fluidized state. Heat transfer is accomplished by direct contact between the wet solid and the hot gases. The vaporized liquid is carried away by the drying gases as exhaust air. The last method is freeze drying or lyophilization. It is an important operation in the production of many biologicals and pharmaceuticals. The material is first frozen and then dried for removal of ice or other frozen solvent in a high vacuum by sublimation that is a process in which solid ice changes directly to a vapor without first going through a liquid or water phase. The great benefit of this technique is that it does not harm heat sensitive materials. It is an excellent method for preserving a wide variety of heat sensitive materials such as proteins, microbes, pharmaceuticals, tissues and plasma. So with this we wind up our downstream processing chapter.